Hello everyone, what's up? I'm Max and you're watching Out of Spec Guy. Today we're gonna get you set and going with ChargePoint Express Chargers. These are chargers using DC fast charging. It's actually one of the fastest ways to charge your car on the road or on a road trip. So let's just say you pulled up to one of these, you need to get set up and going. We're gonna help you out, so stay tuned. Okay, so the first step to making sure you can actually use one of these is if your car supports what's called DC fast charging. So here I have my colleague Ryan Chevy Bolt, and if I open this orange flap, you'll see it's got these pins for direct current. That means it can take fast charging. Uh, now, if you have a Nissan Leaf, we'll flash an image of what that looks like on screen now. That has what's called the Chadmo connector. So you can see on this station, this connector, what's called CCS or combined charging system is what Ryan's bolt in this case takes and most cars honestly on the road. Other cars will take like the Nissan Leaf, this Chadmo connector. And then if you have a Tesla, well, ChargePoint doesn't have plugs for those, but you can get an adapter officially from Tesla. We'll link those in the description. So the rest of the steps in this video will apply for that. Okay, so you just pulled up these one of stations. You don't want to monkey around with setting up an app on your phone, using an account. You just want to get charging. Totally fine. ChargePoint has you covered there. So if your credit card or your debit card has what's called contactless payments, you can see that logo here where you can just tap it to a terminal. You might have done this at stores. You can do that. The same process will work if you have a mobile wallet on your phone like Apple Pay. So now it's going to ask us charging with an account. You're not using a ChargePoint account. We're going to hit accept because that's what we're doing today. So this is a touch screen on this terminal. Some of them might have buttons. You're going to have to press kind of hard on the screen. There are pressure sensitive touch screens, so I don't find them particularly responsive. Now it's asking me to plug in. So I'm going to, in this case, remove the CCS handle because that's what this car takes. If I had a Nissan Leaf, I would use the Chadmo uh, handle or if I had a Tesla with a Chadmo adapter. But today we're using CCS or combined charging system. I should mention these cables are pretty stiff and heavy. That's because they carry a lot of current. So be careful when handling them, especially in the cold. They can, you know, be pretty stiff. So I'm going to click this into Ryan's car. You're going to hear a satisfying click to confirm that. The car in this case is going to flash orange. Your car will have different indications, but you can always see on the charger screen what the current status is. So it's still saying plug in, even though the car is theoretically communicating with the charger. A little bit of a delay there. And now we've gone straight to charging. So we're charging with a card just like that. You can see it says how many kilowatt hours we've added to the car here, how much we're being billed, the current state of charge, a battery in the car, um, and then the estimated time remaining to charge. So the way I recommend activating at any charge point stall, be it DC fast charging or level two, is, well, just with the app, I find it works most reliably. So if you have an iPhone on the App Store, you'll search ChargePoint, and then you'll see it's gonna come up. Their icon looks like this. You'll tap on that, and you'll make sure it's installed. On an Android phone, you go in the Google Play Store uh, in the apps, and then you just search ChargePoint. Type that in on your keyboard. You'll see a similar icon pop up, looks like this. Make sure it's installed, and then on your phone platform of choice, open the app, and let's get going. So when you open the ChargePoint app, you're going to see a screen slightly different from this. That's because my cameraman, Ryan here, whose phone this is, already has an account set up, but it's very self-explanatory. You just enter your name, your email, your info, and then it's going to prompt you for payment. So in this case, you, uh, Ryan's added a credit card here under payment. You can see your ChargePoint balance, which you actually can add. I don't recommend keeping a high balance because just like Starbucks, Chipotle, all of these apps that keep balances, they're just collecting interest on that. You can always just pay with your card whenever you need more funds. But anyhow, we've got our payment added in ChargePoint. Now we're going to show you how to actually activate. So the main screen of the ChargePoint app is just this map interface. And there's a lot of ChargePoint chargers out there. You'll see if I zoom out, there's just so many right here in downtown Boulder. But we're looking at fast chargers today, so we want to filter just to show those. We'll have a dedicated video on route planning, but for today, I'm just going to show you. You can tap this filter icon on the top here, and you can specify DC fast chargers because that's what we're using today. I'm going to make sure that's selected and hit save. And now we're going to see a much more selective list of uh, chargers in the map. And you can see different statuses. So some of these are blue, some of these are green. In our case, green's good because it means the charger is available. If it's blue, it means it's being taken up. So you can see next to us, there's a Hyundai Ionic 5. There's also a Chevy Bolt EUV using two of these four chargers. We're at one of the um, other two that are available. So we're going to tap on one of these chargers. Um, so we are 
uh, which, let's see which station ID we are. So if you look on the screen there, uh, if my cameraman zooms in a bit, you can see it says on the screen, Boulder DC3. So find the ID of your fast charger. We know we're Boulder DC3. So we found this close to us on the map. So we're gonna make sure we select DC3. We're gonna scroll down. We'll see all the info about this charger and as well as station info. Right now, this is out of date. It says that they're upgrading the chargers, but we know that people are using them because we can see there have been check-ins as of yesterday. And of course, we're here today. All we have to do to activate in the app once we're here is just on the charger screen, hit start charge because we've identified the right one. So start charge. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. We're going to hit start. And now it's time for us to step outside of the car and plug in. So in this case, we've started a charge from the app. You can see on the charger, it actually says charging. It's supposed to show status in the app. And we're going to show you actually a bug we just encountered where it didn't. And the reason I'm showing you this is because this can happen to you. And the most common troubleshooting with any of these apps I found, regardless of the charging network, is just to force quit that app. On an iPhone, that means going to your app menu and swiping up on it. On an Android phone, the process may be different. You swipe up and then the app is quit. Now we're going to open charge point again. So we're going to reopen it. The app's going to relaunch. Hopefully that resolves our issues. Let's see, is it going to show our current charge? Yes, it does. So now the state of charge is reflected in the app. You can see the percentage of charge in our vehicle, a lot of the information that's on the charger screen, as well as this helpful graph of how many kilowatts are going into our car over time. Super useful. And if we wanted to, we could stop charging on the phone or stop charging like we're about to show you on the charger itself. Okay, let's say you reach your desired state of charge. For most EVs, the recommended daily limit's 80%. Maybe it's 100% for you in a road trip, or today we're just at 69%, nice. We're gonna stop charging. So on this screen here, if you come in, we're gonna press stop charging. And then we're gonna confirm yes. You'll hear a click. So. The CCS cable in this case on this car is now ready to disconnect. So we're going to press the button on the top of the handle and then just pull it out. Then we'll make sure our charging flap is closed, our door is closed. I've actually forgotten to do this now and then, so make sure you do it. And then uh, you'll see a summary of your charging session with a receipt. In this case, it was a super quick charge to 69%. We're going to hit done and we'll return the cable handle to its stall. Another really convenient method of activating for the future that I like to use is actually setting up my charge point card on my mobile wallet. In this case, Apple Wallet. If you have an Android phone, that's Google Wallet. So on the charge point app, you're going to hit this hamburger on the top left. That brings up a menu. You'll select account. Then you'll go to manage cards. And then you'll see this option. In this case, because we have an iPhone, tap your iPhone to charge. We've got to set this up. So what it's going to do is it's going to give us a virtual card we can trigger with an Apple Pay shortcut. You can see this option here, add to Apple Wallet. I'm going to tap on that, and then I'm going to add it to the Apple Wallet. So now it's a shortcut on this phone permanently. I can always engage the Apple Pay gesture, and it's going to bring up the charge point card if I go to it. Then I could tap it to the station like I showed you earlier with a card. Same process, but just with a phone or a smartwatch. We've got you charging. You know how to use these stations. Let's talk now about power ratings. So this station says 125 kilowatt DC shared. Why do these nerdy numbers matter? Well, if you want to know the full story, Kyle and I did a video explaining. But basically, you might not be seeing the full number, like in this case where it says 125 from your charge. Today on the Bolt, we're actually only getting 20 kilowatts. The Bolt is capable of 50 kilowatts, but that's still nowhere near what the station can output. However, this is shared output. So let's say, um, depending on conditions with the station, and temperature of the battery in your car, well, you might not be seeing the full number. So Kyle and I went over some common reasons you might not be, but basically just don't be alarmed if your car is charging slower than the maximum advertised charging speed. There's a few reasons that could be the case that that video sort of goes over. Now, this Bolt is one of the slower uh, charging EVs for sale today, but here at the station right now, we have a Hyundai Ioniq 5. This is a more modern, much, much faster charging vehicle, so it can theoretically maximize this charger but today, this Hyundai is only getting 40 kilowatts. So in this case, I think it's because the battery on that vehicle is probably cold, but there's so many reasons for that. So don't be alarmed, basically, if you're not seeing your charge rate match the maximum kilowatt rating. My note on conduct, uh, if you have a station with multiple different kilowatt ratings, is know your car's capabilities and plug into the appropriate one. 
for Ryan's Bolt here, if we saw a station with a 65 kilowatt rating, we'd plug into that instead of the 125 kilowatt rating because we won't be taking any kind of penalty. We're still maximizing the maximum charge that car can take. All right, that is how to charge a charge points express and DC fast charging stations. Now there's many, many more charge points around and a lot of them aren't like this. They're actually smaller, slower charging units. And we made a video all about charging those. So if you want to see a video on that with its own chapters and uh, sections, check that video out. We'll link it in the description. Also, ChargePoint is not the only network in the country. There's Electrify America, there's EVgo among others. We've made tutorials for many of them which are also on this channel. So out of spec guide, that's been it for today. I've been Max. Thank you so much for watching. If you have other suggestions for questions you have with your first time you know, EV experience, email us. We have our email in the description, guide at outofspecstudios.com, or you can hit us up on Twitter if you like to do that. Thank you so much for watching today.